thought he was really focused on setting picks and rebounding and doing all the little things. And, you know, it's funny, we just talked about this as a group. And I said, guys who do that, it's amazing how the, uh, you get rewarded somehow. And that's what happened to me. He kept setting picks on Ray. I mean, Ray, I mean listen, Jay was no dummy. He said, set, set a pick on Ray. Everybody's jumping at Ray, and he kept slipping. And he saw that early in the game. Uh, and that's that's brilliant, though. That's he did his job by getting Ray open, and and he was the, you know, he benefited from, it, and talk, we benefited from. It. You talk about the little things. Paul first came back and seeing early on, he was looking to do a lot of those kind of little things yeah. into a flow. Yeah, I mean, that's, just having Paul on the floor, the space is so different, you know. Uh, I felt bad because I took Lawrence out to dinner last night. He said, if Paul planned, I said, no, there's no chance. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Lawrence was thinking, oh, wow. <laughs> but it does. It's just the, uh, the the spacing and the, the ball movement is amazing how the ball moved today again. That was nice. I I, I just thought the uh, New Orleans game, you know, whatever the reason, the ball stuck in everybody's hands. Everybody was trying to win the game by themselves. And that's, that'll never be who we are. Do you think the fact that the ball was moving so much more was a byproduct of having Paul? Out yeah, there? I think it started it and everybody sees it. And listen, if you watch Kevin Garnett play enough, I mean, Kevin drives you nuts because he's open half the time he's passing and you're screaming at him to shoot the ball and he still passes the ball, but it usually leads to something good. And everybody else sees that. I mean, it's infectious. It really is. How significant was that bench energy and production that started second? It, it was really good. It was good. Uh, you know, Bob, I think what you saw was that. When they're all together, that bench, they fit pretty well. But when you take one of them out and put them in a starting lineup, it kind of upsets the bench. You know, the, the thing I didn't know, honestly, was the, um, the Sasha uh, Marquise combination. I know it's a tough night against them because they have those little guards that run around screens. I wasn't sure if Sasha could do that because we've never asked him and I've never seen him. He did a terrific job of it. So that's a good, good thing to know for us. Paul played some good minutes with the bench, Doc. Yeah. How much did that help their cohesion? Well, it helps when you can leave a starter on the floor. And honestly, having an extra starter allows you to have an extra starter on the bench when they come on. You know what I mean? Uh, it, the numbers work pretty well. Can Brandon be that scorer you need in that spot? I, I don't think Brandon has a problem scoring. <laughs> really. I mean, when he gets it, he's probably going to shoot it. Now, and a good thing, though. I mean, he's an aggressive player, and that's what we want him to be. Uh, so, you know, he's going to have good nights, and he's going to have some bad nights probably, too. He's human. Uh, but he is a factor. I mean, he can take you off the dribble. He's powerful on the post, and he really shoots the ball well. How did you feel about the defensive effort? I thought it was terrific. You know, I thought that was the difference. In the third quarter, you know, we all we get mesmerized by offense. But in the third quarter, it was the defense. We kept we got multiple stops. Uh, it was a defense that we, uh, that we knew we were comfortable with. And, uh, we hadn't seen it yet this year, so it was nice nice to see it. Why do you think you hadn't seen it? Is it, is it continuity? I don't know. I, I swear I don't. I, I wish I did. Uh, you know, I thought um, camp, I, I really thought we had, I thought we had terrific defensive practices. I, I, you know, you look at the two exhibition games, our defense was phenomenal against Toronto, who puts points on the board. Our, our offense was horrendous. And then we play the Knicks in Miami, and we score 104 and 100 and whatever, and we shoot 53%, and we can't get any stops. You know, uh, that's what makes this job crazy. Did you and sense, you guys? And yeah, that goes without saying. <laughs> did you uh, did you sense Paul was feeling his way in the first quarter, even the first half? Doc? Yeah, you know, um, I, I thought you know we had a talk before, and I suggested bringing him off the bench and. He said, yeah, and then I said, well, I don't know. You know, we're, That's how we had no idea which way we were going with it. I said, yeah, but you know, starting, at least you're warm. And he said, yeah, that's better. So I thought he didn't know what he was going to get out of himself. I really did. I thought that's, you can see, he had no idea how he was going to play, his rhythm. And, um, you know, we had agreed on five-minute stretches. And then at the five-minute mark, he said, man, I'm having fun. I feel great out here. Yeah. Uh, and then a minute and a half later, he was signaling over. So. Uh, it's just going to take some time.